All right, so this is my nat gas uh, chart here for futures. Now, I figured this was a solid risk-reward trade for a few reasons in terms of uh, I'm currently shorted this 0.172. That's the uh, November put contract with a $3.15 strike price. So uh, the reason I feel pretty confident about this is for starters, we're heading into fall, and net gas is directly correlated to, you know, increased demand for electricity, and usually high demand for electricity tends to occur during summer months due to air conditioning and, and the like. So, obviously, as we head into fall, you know, the demand is going to taper, and therefore um, the price that people can charge for it is going to be reduced. And... Um, the other indicators, obviously, for my short, are it's way outside this upper Keltner channel. Nine times out of ten, when especially on a four-hour chart of, of all things, um, anytime it breaks out of this upper Keltner, this uh, tan line here, nine times out of ten, it'll eventually pull back and retrace at least to this level at the very least. So if I'm shorting it, like, up here, there's a good risk reward that it's gonna eventually pull back down to here within a week's time, maybe a couple weeks at the most. Then you also can look at the uh, relative strength index. Once it, you see that red, that means it is overbought. And then you can look at the fast stochastic, and you can see that it's also, I mean, really overbought. And just an example of that would be, I mean, obviously this is oversold, so it's at the oversold level here. If you were to buy it, and then boom, 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 and then you make a bunch of money. <laughs> Same here. Oh, it's oversold. You buy it anytime here, and then oop. <laughs> so it's it's just basic technicals. And then um, the other uh, real important thing here is if you really want to take a huge look far, far out. Let's go all the way back. 10 years with the weekly chart. And we have a significantly defined trend line here, which means that there's heavy resistance on this trend line, just strictly on a technical basis. A lot of traders are going to have this on their, uh, their computer screens. And they're going to see that when it hits that resistance line, you're going to see an epic pullback every single time. Or at least the past two times it did. And guess what? We're almost there. And we've had quite a run. I mean, let's look at the uh, just the past 30 days. And yeah, so you obviously have the summer ramp. Like I said, increased demand obviously means increased prices. and and all the way through August and September. Now, what I uh, imagine most likely happened is right at this key level here, obviously you started to see some profit-taking, short selling or whatever, and then it, it rebounded. And then once it got up into this area, a lot of traders probably said, oh, it's probably, oh, it's going to fail, and it started to pull back a tiny, tiny bit. And over-aggressive short sellers started to pile in and we're hoping that this thing was going to just roll over double top type of situation and spill off to the downside because oh it's already september so it's the end of days for not gas but they were and historically speaking if you look at the chart too you can tell there's always a period right around september october where it does usually ramp up and that's where if you look at the chart on those trend lines is right around this time of year it really ramps right up right into like October-ish kind of, and then it just peels right off after. And what I liken that to is basically the over-aggressive short sellers that are all piling into this zone, because remember previously it was almost kind of double topping, so they figured this is the end of days for Nat Gas, they start shorting it, then the market makers and such start just basically uh, bidding this thing up to really just destroy the short sellers and force them to buy to cover and just I mean, there's no explanation for why. Let's look at this on a 20 day, one hour. You're going to see a, a pattern like that. I mean, come on. Let's be honest. How often do you see something that goes 
boom, and then just straight ramp up non-stop. I mean, you don't even see a red candle anywhere in there. It's technically all outside the upper count. They're way above even the moving average. I mean, you almost never even see the um, parabolic uh, SAR here ever even exit outside of the upper count count there, which is this tan line again, and it's way outside of that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's just so many like things saying this is just there's no way, and of course now it's got its first little red candle. Whether or not that's going to be a true reversal, we'll see. But I mean, technically this thing was overbought on the stochastic up here, and as far as the RSI is concerned, like I said, exactly so. Right as it crosses out of the upper Keltner, you can see it turns red on the RSI, which means it's starting to get overbought. I would feel bad for the people that got really over aggressive here and reshorted or something. Like right at this point, like, oh yeah, she's just gonna, that's that. And then that's probably what ended up actually happening is over aggressive shorts and, and just destroyed them. I happened to notice this, and I was like, hey, wow, I'm glad I wasn't trading that gas today in terms of the short side. It would have been nice to go long on that trade. I mean, holy smokes. But, um, yeah, so I'm short it now, basically, almost at the exact top. Let's see. Fifteen hundred is where I was, so I shorted it. No, no, this is the wrong chart. Well, it's the right one, but this is the October contract. I'm on the X6, which is the November contract. More or less still the same situation, but uh, just for all intents and purposes of accuracy, 15. I remember it was at like 312, 313-ish area. So, yeah, I'm out of this entire squeeze. I'm like right up in here. <laughs> so I'm almost at the exact top of this massive short squeeze so I mean it really comes down to is how much higher is this that really going to squeeze and stay that overbought if it goes a little higher I'm not that concerned I mean we do have reports tomorrow coming out at 1030 the EIA report and everything but I'm really still not concerned even if it does squeeze higher I mean this is a good this is a contract for November so I'm confident that at some point, even if I had to hold this thing for 20 or 30 days, this will eventually pull back and I'll be profitable on it. So again, it's all about solid risk reward. And in my opinion, not only do you have the key technicals, you also have solid fundamental basis for why this trade should work. But again, just due to market manipulation and, and such, and where I'm trying to illustrate how to trade with a small account size, and avoid pattern day trader rules, but how to significantly grow your account. Um, I recommend trading, if, if you're going to be on, especially on the short side, is to trade it with options. And in my account right now, I think it's at like 2400 bucks or something. And this trade is a significant portion of it, like 1700 bucks out of the 2400 But again, I can't lose any more than 1720 And I feel very confident that this should work out if this pulls back. 10 cents, I mean, basically, I'm up like a thousand bucks. It's like every penny, I think, is like a hundred bucks on the net gas futures. And it's basically at like 313. So if this thing can just go back to like three bucks, you know, I'd be pretty happy with that. And I think pretty much that's like a 50% gain for my entire account. <laughs> so. That's pretty much where it's at right now. Um, I'll post an update once I close the position, whether it's a loser or a winner. <laughs>